I'll explain uh, the scenarios on the rabies. You have the vaccination and uh, immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin. So the first case, you were, you have a bite by a pet that has been vaccinated and doesn't have no symptoms. What do you do? Nothing. Observe the animal for 10 days and nothing. If uh, you have a bite and the animal pet positive for rabies symptoms, you take the vaccination and the immunoglobulin. Third scenario, it's a wild bat, raccoon, um, fox. So if you get a bite and you find the animal, you're going to take the animal, kill the animal, look at his brain for the rabies. If it's negative, nothing to do. If it's positive, you take uh, vaccination plus immunoglobulin. The fourth, it's in the wild and you can't find the animal. Then you're going to do the same. You're going to do a vaccination plus immunoglobulin. Regarding tetanus, ter tetanus, we first differentiate the wound. Clean or dirty wounds. Dirty wounds usually more than six hours. Feces, frost, bite. Um, so then the dirty wound if the patient, the clean and the dirty wound, they're divided in patient received three times vaccination for tetanus and no vaccination or less than three. No, or less than three. So if we had three, on the clean, tetanus, immunoglobulin. No, you don't need to give any of them. If the three vaccination was less than 10 years, then you need to give the vaccination. If there was no vaccination, you give vaccination, booster vaccine. On the dirty wound, less than three, less than five years. No, you give three, but it was less than five years. You need to give the vaccination. No immunoglobulin. If you had three times and it was less than five years, and if you, if you didn't have the fourth time, you can give a boost. If you have fourth, then nothing to do. If no vaccination, less than three times, you give both. Yes and yes. Good luck.